Number 34 in the 42 Ideas on Leadership is about transformational leadership, an idea that was originally put forward by Downton in 1973 and then developed by James McGregor Burns in 1978 in his book on leadership, where he contrasted it with transactional leadership. We've got Bass and the four I's of transformational leadership, Riggio, Avolio, and then later on Walter Bennis and Nanus, who developed these ideas of transformational leadership. We'll be looking at each of these in a moment. Transformational leadership, as the name suggests, is a leadership style that changes and transforms people. And a lot of the key words related to transformational leadership are the following, like emotions, values, ethics. When we're talking about motivation, it's intrinsic motivation, the theory why type of motivation. It's about inspiring people, encouraging them, nurturing them, uh, creating a shared vision, and then involving them in the process and giving them a role model to inspire them, um, listening to them and creating trust, then empowering them so that they try to achieve this shared vision, a shared vision that challenges them. Okay, so all of these ideas then are developed through the different theories of transformational leadership. The original idea, uh, going back to McGregor Burns, was uh, transactional leadership is about the leader and the follower exchanging in an exchange process where the leader will give rewards in form of promotion or money to a follower who in return will do jobs for the leader. This is a transactional leadership style. However, transformation leadership style is about where the leader and the follower are in a symbiotic relationship that both of them work together and depend on each other. The result of the leader and the follower working together means that they're motivated and highly motivated towards achieving these goals. Now, an element is, uh, of, of transformation leadership is also morality. The leader has high moral standards, very ethical, and as a result of being an ethical decision maker, inspires the followers to also be ethical in their decision making and sets a high moral code for them to follow as an example. Through this, it's possible to create a team where followers overcome their self-interest in trying to achieve a shared vision. The idea, therefore, is that if a leader can create this transformation in the followers, that they will be inspired to overcome the self-interest, act as part of a team then to create create and to achieve a shared vision. And as a result of overcoming this self-interest, it's possible for the team to exceed expected goals. Now, when we're looking, Vavolio has put all of this on um, a graph and it's possible to compare three different types of leadership. Okay, we're going to compare, first of all, the laissez-faire leadership, which is ineffective. There's an absence of leadership, uh, very passive and doesn't actually take any role. It's abdication as opposed to delegation. The transactional leadership has these three elements. First is management by exception in a passive way. It's about corrective criticism and negative feedback, negative reinforcement. This happens after the problems have happened. The management by exception in an active way is about observing followers before the problems happen uh, to spot mistakes and correct those mistakes. But it's again, it's about corrective criticism, negative feedback, negative reinforcement. I guess we're talking about theory X here. The contingent award reward is about it's an exchange process. As we mentioned earlier, you agree objectives and you agree rewards with followers and it's about giving them their money, giving them their rewards in return for work. However, the four eyes as laid out by Bass in 1985 is about transformation of leadership. These four eyes are idealized influence, inspirational motivation, intellectual stimulation, and individualized consideration. The first one, idealized influence, is where the leader creates an ideal role model, basically by walking the, 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 the talk and practicing what they preach. And as a result, they win through trust, the trust of their followers through their actions. And they put their followers' needs above their own and also establish high standards and ethical principles. This is where the moral element of a transformational leader comes into play. Inspirational motivation is they inspire confidence and motivation and, and they motivate their followers. Charisma, here we're talking maybe about the trait leadership, 
uh, type of theory. Uh, they've got a consistent vision, a mission, and a set of values. They provide a sense of meaning for their followers, and through enthusiasm and optimism, they motivate their followers. They've got excellent communication skills, and through high expectations, they challenge their followers, and they also use emotional appeals to inspire them and to move them to greater uh, success. The intellectual stimulation is where they challenge the followers to be innovative and creative. They look for new ideas, and they avoid criticism for mistakes because they create this atmosphere where it's about changing and learning. They encourage autonomy. Um, as a leader, they provide a big picture and they, they're able to challenge the assumptions of the followers and they're able to engage then in problem solving. But they, again, they're creating big picture challenges and ideas so that the followers can become autonomous in discovering solutions to problems and trying to achieve this big picture and the shared vision. The final one, the individualized consideration, means they're, they have genuine concern for the needs and the feelings of followers and that they treat each follower as an individual, not just as a group. And they listen to the needs of the followers. They act as coaches and mentors and they treat their followers differently. They empower them and they support their followers. And they try to understand the individual motivation of each of their followers. It's an understanding that sometimes they have to do delegation or direction a little bit similar to the situational uh, leadership which we've looked at uh, earlier in this series of videos. These are the four eyes of mass, idealized influence, inspirational motivation, intellectual stimulation, stimulation and uh, individualized consideration. Now, looking at Walter Bennis and Nanus's idea from 1985, we've got the idea that a transformation leader needs a clear, shared and an inspiring vision that they develop trust, that they're consistent, reliable, and they have a lot of integrity, that they are social architects, they're able to mobilize their followers, uh, create meaning for them and communicate this to them. They're, they're very good at being self-aware, they're very positive, uh, strengths-based um, leadership, and that they create a learning organization. And together then, all of these ideas are about creating a vision, inspiring and motivating. They're very good at executing and transforming an organization and they're excellent at building trust and the team. All of these elements are about transformation and leadership. So that is number 34 in our 42 ideas on leadership, transformational leadership.